Sam, thanks for coming on. This is exciting. We finally have you. You've been very busy all weekend uh, coaching. First, let's just jump right into, tell me about Corey Medical. All right, loaded question. I hate being asked that. So the first <laughs> things I'd say would be, um, it's a multidisciplinary clinic. So there's like doctors and nurses, um, chiropractors, and we all work together. Um, my husband and I started our branch, which is the chiropractic side of business. And uh, we started that about four years ago. And uh, it's been pretty awesome since we started that. So. And you're focusing specifically on chiropractics. Yes, that's our, our role is specifically the chiropractic side. So from treating anything from uh, sports injuries to, you know, what we all, I guess, get labeled for is neck pain, back yeah. pain, that type of thing. But yeah. And in previous discussions we've had, you mentioned, you know, what really separates you is, you know, by doing something different. Can you talk to a little bit about what you've done this year that's different, especially with your brand? Um, I think what I was kind of told when I first got out of school is like, um, if you don't do something different, why would somebody come see me instead of a guy that's been at it for 20 years? And the biggest thing that I can say is, uh, I was told find something unique that makes you completely different, that people yeah. will immediately want to see you because you're doing that thing that's different. So for us, we've implemented some um, technology, I guess, and we have some of the latest technology going for our field um, and it accelerates healing so that people kind of get on their feet pretty soon after they first see us. So that makes us quite unique, I think. Well, it's, it's nice because you've kind of, uh, it's a perfect segue for me to mention the reason why I'm, well, I've known Sam for a long time. She's, uh, I've been so inspired by the work that she does on, in different mediums, but I couldn't run and I went to see her and this technology, this yeah. laser, uh, three sessions and I have never come back because for the laser exactly. and I've been running and while well, we were talking now I started boxing. <laughs> I know I'm like I'm so jealous why didn't I get the invite <laughs> I'll stick to my CrossFit you can stick to your boxing. Episode <laughs> 2 will be at the boxing ring um, but no it's just it's changed my life and I think that that's what makes it really unique. Now what's even more unique is that we I, I get to work with lots of entrepreneurs a lot of people when they come out of school they go out and they test the field and they work in firms or other companies or family businesses to kind of feel it out and see what they're good at. You jumped right in, left university and started your own thing. Yeah, it's uh, kind of crazy. I think a lot of people uh, like to test the waters and I think it's a confidence thing. Mm -hmm. um, being unsure about what you're able to offer the world, uh, being unsure where to start, <laughs> nothing Nothing better than experimenting. Um, mm -hmm. And if you have support uh, from friends, family, and maybe some other people in the field, I think that it makes that transition really easy. Um, mm -hmm. And I think it's like a no-brainer, like, business-wise. <laughs> yeah, was... for you, a lot of people, you know, you're looking at Sammy, you're jumping, imagine coming right out of university, and you're like, okay, I'm gonna start my own thing. Where did this confidence come from? Like, you've, you've always, knowing you, you've always had it, but what's been the, where has this confidence come from? Parents, I've uh, been blessed with a, a mom and a dad that uh, super parents. are like the super parents. Um, they challenge me, uh, I by no means had an easy ride, but they challenged me, they encouraged me, um, they supported me. So I knew that um, I had a lot of, I couldn't really fail. Mm -hmm. I kind of knew that. Or if you did fail. It would be fine, and trust yeah. me, I failed at some things. <laughs> but in this instance, I knew that they believed in me and I believed in myself, and I was like, all right, let's just give it a try. And worst mm -hmm. case scenario, it doesn't work out, and I try a different avenue, a different path in trying to find that pursuit of excellence, I guess. So this confidence, I mean, sports, I to guess. all, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and, and well, we're gonna, well, that's right what I wanted to go that. into, but like, first of all, thank you to the awesome parents, you know, Sam's <laughs> great parents for, um, you know, this confidence comes from above, you know, from people totally. that are are nurturing you throughout your life. And we, you, we laugh because we're talking about boxing and sports, but that's how I got to know you on the soccer field when we were little. And I think, um, I remember years ago someone asking, you know, Claire, do you think you're an entrepreneur because you're an athlete? And I never, it never yes, dawned on me right. that connection. Yeah. But the more I think about it and when I play sports, can you weigh in on that? How has sports helped you as an entrepreneur? 
Um, or has it? No, I, I would totally agree with okay. that. I mean, when when you said that in my head, I'm like, how do those even like relate to yeah. each other? And I think there is a massive correlation mm -hmm. because um, going out on a field or a basketball court, um, you're taking a huge risk. You're taking a huge chance. You don't know how the game's going to go. You don't know how you're going to play. You don't know if your teammates are going to work well with you. Right. Um, and I think that's the same thing for business. Like you have no idea what's going on. But with sports, you fail constantly. Yeah. You succeed on a regular mm -hmm. basis, whether it's personally, as a team. Um, you get a lot of face time with yeah. all sorts of people, your teammates, the parents mm -hmm. of other teammates. Um, in my situation, like higher level basketball coaches. So, you know, my dad, I remember I was telling my husband this the other day, like I, my dad told me one time when we were at a gym, when I was in grade nine and we were trying out for the provincial team and he's like, okay, there's one of the coaches like sitting, like grading the group that was in front of us. And he's like, go talk to her. And I'm like, <laughs> what? I go, I'm she's sitting there. there. I'm like, she's sitting there. She's minding her own business. Who's this little girl going to come yeah. up and like chat her up? And yeah. then dad goes, well, you could, but it could be a lost opportunity if you don't. So then I sit here and I'm like, like he's oh. so right. This yeah. is awful. Yeah. Okay. I should do this. And then I just got up and I went and it went really well. Yeah. And I mean, making the team was yeah. a, so a, its own thing, but he just kept pushing me to be in awkward situations yeah. that I hated. Yes. So, and I, or that was, scared, you know, and I was like, is she going to tell me to leave? Is she like, was she, is she going to judge me thinking I'm a brown noser? Like, yeah. but he constantly put me in situations through sports yeah. that kind of guided me, that made me, I think, confident to go out and start my own business and to, um, know that it's going to kind of work itself out. And, and you're gambling on yourself, right? You're, it's your body. You're, you're yeah. pushing yourself. And it's interesting because that's, I mean, and you might feel when you're jumping out on the field, I remember in university going out and playing, you're like, okay, all I have right now is what my body can do and I got to push through it. And it's a, it's also mental, like you're running and you see that you have an opportunity to go for that goal or whatever. And you're like, okay, step it up in your head. You're like, push harder. And I feel like I take some of that, those moments on the field or whatever. And I don't know if you do, but you bring it into your business and be like, okay. I got to do this. Step it up and I got to, yeah. Sure. <laughs> it totally is. Oh, yeah. And it's nice talking to, you know, other athletes because, and, and being in business is like, it's that extra little, like, push that you are familiar with. So it's not as scary. Yeah. We've been training ourselves our whole lives. And I mean, I equate myself, my athleticism to you, not at all. Sam played two varsity athletes <laughs> and was doing, like, playing every other sport. So you have this, like, amazing ability to be pushing yourself, yeah. both physically mentally going off to become a doctor and it's amazing because I think you, we talked about adversity right and pushing yourself yeah you're your worst I'd say you're your worst enemy like it is totally a mental thing um, I, one of my coaches at CrossFit here he's like you know what like what's stopping you from hitting that next rep or that next weight is in your head because your body can do it mm -hmm. because you've done it before but you have to get into that zone. I think within business, you have to decide on something and you just have to give her. Because yeah. if you don't, you're either going to fail or you're going to succeed and you'll never know unless you try it. And so it's a mental thing, totally. I love it. And it's, it's, it's getting me all pumped up. I'm like, I'm like let's go box. <laughs> um, now, this has been something that's come up. The fear of failure is the number one um, fear uh -huh. for female entrepreneurs, um, you know, and specifically this stat, looking at female entrepreneurship, listening to Sam, she's not scared. Um, and you talk about this, maybe you can reiterate or and mention another instance, um, but fear seems like it wasn't an option. Like it was, but then you were always pushed. I think that you need to reframe what that sentence yeah. means, right? So yes. when you people say fear of failure, like I smile because I'm like, do it and yeah. do it often because yeah. if you're not failing you're not trying yeah. because nothing in life is going to be successful 100 percent of the time or else we'll all be like bajillionaires and have a great we don't have the drive no there's push. exactly so i think for failure you, you know you need to accept it and learn from it um and I think my dad I kept attributing the difference between some kids and myself mm -hmm. and is that 
they don't try because they don't want to fail because they see as failure as a negative thing. Right. But if you see right. it as a positive yeah. thing, then you, there's opportunity for growth, there's opportunity to, to correct that. So instead of seeing it as a board and stopping, you deflect off it and try another path. And then you're going to hit it again and you're going to fail again. And you're going to go somewhere else. And I love that what you said and maybe touch on that. Like failure is failure in that moment maybe. Yes. But then what, have you noticed something positive coming out of that failure? Oh, all the time. Yeah. So like I had, I won't obviously say the business, but I had a really great business opportunity. We did a presentation. It's a massive company that yeah. we'd come in. We'd offer some healthcare services with them. They seemed excited. We were super yeah. excited. It was a great opportunity for everyone. Yeah. To us, it was like a win-win. And, and they kept asking, yeah. yeah, and they kept asking me like, oh, like where's the loophole? I'm like, no, no, like this yeah. is a win-win for both of us. And then nothing happened. And we were emailing them and it was just, it didn't happen. So then we were in, you know, look back and we're like, that was so embarrassing. We shouldn't have done that. Or, you know, I don't think I'll do that again. And then I thought, you know what though, like what could we have done better? And so when we get that next opportunity, it's just gonna be that much of a more of a home run. And so I think like, if you can reframe what you think failing is, then you'll right. always be successful. I love that. And I, I it's, it's awesome Amen. because- <laughs> Amen. <laughs> <laughs> You're amazing. But that's the thing is the relationship with failure has to change and it, it failure yeah, exactly is good like that, and sure. and embrace it but then it's how you react. And I had a good friend that said, you know, at the end of the day it's how you react to things. And We can't see all, obviously if somebody dies, don't be like, this is awesome. No. Like in your moment, have your 10 minutes to feel bad for yourself mm -hmm. and then deflect and say, okay, what's the next mm -hmm. door that we can go through and kill it. Mm -hmm. Now, listening to Sam, you just, I always feel so motivated and you always remind me like, Claire, like, so what? Move on. Who cares? Keep, yeah, keep pushing. You, you got so many good things going. But I mean, it's, it, you give this advice. What advice are you giving yourself? What do you do? Like mental health is a huge part of, in entrepreneurship. And what is it that you do for yourself to make sure that you can be taking care of yourself, but also empowering other women like myself and and, and other people. Like on a like on a daily basis, yeah. that type of stuff. Do we do or anything like well, yeah? Sorry. I would say um, personal health. Yeah. Um, happiness with yourself provides confidence. Um, it kind of across the board. So it comes for us, obviously being in the healthcare field. Um, diet number one. Okay, you you are what you eat. Yeah. Do you eat good food? You'll feel pretty good yeah. and you'll feel good about yourself. Yeah. Uh, number two, exercise. You gotta find something that drives and motivates you. For me, it was CrossFit coming from, and I'm sure you can relate. You go from like university sports well, and then you go to chiropractic school and then you're like, there's nothing. Yeah. Congratulations, you are now playing intramural sports with people 20 years older than you, and you're Wait. supposed to like be like gung ho about it. And the competition, we are all my oh, friends so like, Claire, you're so competitive, and you're like, I'm. This is all this I is know. What I do. And also sports. I don't know about you, but when we played sports, I played sports because I loved it. And now that I'm older, I still love it, but I realize. It is so good for my mental health. Like I, I run and I play things now Endorphins, just for, girl. just yeah, yeah, but but for my own brain. And I forgot. And I think you know any, you know athletes out there that have played sports, you you'll probably find once you don't have that level of push and competition, you have to do it for yourself. Yeah, and it, so you either have that motivation, which you might have. I have a slightly lower self-motivation when it comes to exercise because I'll get on a treadmill and I'm like, this is the worst thing ever. Okay, because we never did that university no, on exactly. the field. exactly. Yeah. So then that's what I encourage people. Find yeah. your exercise, yeah. whether it's boxing, whether it's okay. like... This is a new thing. <laughs> this might be a one-day thing. But right now well, it's your I thing. Three months. Three months. Okay. Yeah. But for me, it was CrossFit, right? It, and I'm, I keep bugging you to got to try it. Like, you have people... It Honestly, Claire, it feels like you're on a sports team yeah. and you're working out together for the hour and it's the best exercise you'll ever have. So when it comes back to yeah. how do you motivate yourself, diet. diet, exercise, read. Read for your health, read read like, really I don't like reading, but like short yeah. little books that are a little bit 
motivating. So yeah. one of my favorite books that have really tra has really changed how I think of things. It's called The Power of Positive Thinking. And I just go through the highlighter and I was like, amen. Oh yeah, this is so good. I need more of this. And like I saved this book and I like don't like to read very much. And I was like, this is the golden book. All patients need to read this. Yeah. It's mental, 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 everything. Yeah. And I think that you, you nailed it right on the head. People need to hear, we hear it all the time, yeah, it's important to eat, eat well and exercise, but it's crucial. You have you to know? do it. And, yeah. and keeping positive, and I would thank you because you're someone keeping positive people in your life, yeah. you know? Um, I, I think I maybe I fake an injury just to go to the chiropractic to I, see you. And I will <laughs> fake treat you. <laughs> No. Okay, that's, no. it works oh, no, out. Doesn't work, doesn't work. <laughs> You're hilarious. I feel like I could sit here all day and chat with you, Sam, because there's a lot of a lot of other questions I want to ask. But I know that there's a lot of other women, entrepreneurs, athletes out there that are watching and really resonating with your story. What's one thing you can leave with them today that would be a piece of advice them moving forward in wherever stage they're at? I mean, this might kind of sound like a general statement, um, mm -hmm. but back to the entrepreneurship and not how athletic that we think we are. Um, <laughs> it's gonna be <laughs> be <laughs> back to back to just a general statement. Um, starting your own business, find a mentor. You have to do it um, I like that. because you, when you fail, because yeah. it will happen frequently, um, you need somebody to brainstorm ideas with. You need somebody to help reframe the situation for you. So. If you're kind of um, internalizing the failure, um, you'll never really come out of it. So if you can find somebody that can help you through the ups and the downs, give you new business opportunities, maybe kind of brainstorm a little yeah. bit with business yeah. wise you'll feel like you're never failing alone and I think yeah. having a support network is what's going to make you most successful mm -hmm. so get out of school find something you're passionate passionate about mm -hmm. find somebody that can mentor you stay active and be healthy and I think you'll be solid I think that's amazing and I just because this is so crucial what you said about being a, finding a mentor I think a lot of people like you have the personality and we can agree that Sam can go up and walk up to anyone and be like um, excuse me can you be my mentor I'll have multiple mentors. <laughs> yeah, well, you probably do. But there's a lot of people that it's hard to find a mentor. Yep, totally. How, how would you suggest, just so I know this is, I always say last question, but how, if you were going to suggest, how does someone find a mentor? Um, I think that you either, when you're in a field, mm -hmm. um, I think a lot of the times there's somebody that motivated you to do that. Okay. So for you and your, all your things you're doing, especially that say somebody's into fashion, right? Yeah. They'll see what you're doing. Then they'll be like, I want to be like Claire. I want to do something like Claire. So I think some people like myself um, saw the uh, lady in particular that I'm thinking of that I used quite often. Um, she was a chiropractor. Um, she opened two businesses. Wow. She sold them both, then went to work for another company because she kind of yeah. was satisfied with all the other things yeah. she had been doing. And she was kind of a similar personality. So I think you have to find somebody that meshes yeah. Personality wise, yeah. so obviously I'm slightly extroverted, so I oh. think yeah. <laughs> I think she, and she is too, so yeah. like we were able to laugh together, I kind of cried a little bit things, somebody that yeah that understands you so um, and not to be afraid to ask to for them to help you to guide you yeah, yeah. and and they're put your flattered, you know? yeah they're honored like I remember I'd be like can I shadow you for the day and I'm thinking in my head leading up to it she doesn't want me to hang around <laughs> with her all day like that's so annoying to have somebody but they're honored like you said mm -hmm. and I was like a sponge I was like mm, more information yeah. and then she was like call me anytime and that locked it in as you're my go-to girl and she was so helpful and that's so cool so yeah thank you to her yeah. and that's the thing Mystery is woman. <laughs> yeah but that yeah don't be afraid to ask because I think that that's um you're and, failing majorly when you don't ask yeah. which is good because you're gonna have to try to find a way yeah. to dig yeah. yourself out and of you that have one multiple mentors and different things yeah so. um i just want to thank sam you're you're thank awesome you. and no, i'm like so I'm, i know i'm so excited right now it's great oh, and um thank you. thank you for listening and you know i love hugs so hey thanks girl. Good job, money. Mm. take care